What is going on guys, Pro Designs here, back with another After Effects tutorial for you guys and this is how to use Camera Tracker by The Foundry on how to motion track your cinematics, clips, whatever you want to use um, with the best method uh, possible to get the best outcome from your motion tracking. So let's just bring in a clip, let's import a file, I'm actually going to use a cinematic from one of my cinematic packs. Um, let's just use, I don't know, uh, let's use this. I'm not going to use the whole thing. Uh, one back to one view. So let's say you've recorded here. You want to put some text um, up here. So what you want to do is say if you wanted to keep the rest like this what you want to do is go past the bit where you say you want the text like along uh, the bottom of the the window here the view here just go past it <clears throat> and press Control shift d to split it i've got to go up here because cam studio um doesn't let me do that so let's highlight the bottom layer the first bit and let's just drag on our camera tracker onto the layer and we would just want to hit uh, track features here and I will pause the video and come back because it does take a minute or two and I will get continue on with the tutorial now that all the features have been tracked you just want to hit solve camera here and it's going to solve all the points and what you want to do is try aim to have under one pixel. I mean, if you've got like 1.3 or 1.4, that's fine. It should be should be uh, fairly smooth. Um, basically, um, this is the amount of um, errors that have happened. So if you've got it under one, that's really good. I mean, if it's just over one, you'll be fine. Uh, you may have to select a point. Uh, with less errors, but I'll show you what I mean when I come to it So just click OK on that Now what you want to do is create a scene And it's going to create a camera and what you want to do is just delete the null object straight away uh, You want to go onto your clip and um, Click on the clamber tracker effect and you want to find what say you want the text around here you want to find a tech um, a track point with like per track errors and you want it to be as low as possible so for example this one is 0 0.21 I'm going to press control and click on this one and create null object this uh, message might come up but just press OK uh, OK OK um, and it will just work fine. Um, so basically, let me just go over it again. So just click here, and then just click on one of the uh, points, and we're whilst pressing Control, and then go to Null Object. So now you've got your Null Object. If you go through the time, it should be fixed to the floor like it is now onto that point. So let's add some text. I mean, you could um, add in a logo, whatever you want. Um, just use the same principles. So let's just put uh, pro designs. Doesn't matter about the font. We're not really not really needed right now. I've actually put a zero. I'll just change that. And let's make it. Oh God, can't get the words out today. Uh, let's just make this bigger, like that. Put it around here. It doesn't really matter <coughs> where you position it right now because when we press 3D object, it's going to move. And you want to go to over to your view panel here. Go to four views and just basically this is the panel you want to um, be looking at and position it in, uh, as it's the active camera panel. Uh, I'm just going to literally just drag that so you can see it uh, on the active camera 
and then just go back to your one view and you can move it about where you want it uh, let's just readjust the size obviously you guys will spend some time with the font size whatever you want to do with the text I'm just gonna make it really really simple and put it around there so now if we drag through the timeline we should go past it so obviously what you want to do so I forgot to say this um, say your motion track ends around here you also want the text to end there as well so uh, just press uh, control end bracket um, never works with uh, with Camstasia all these shortcuts so just it is control end bracket or oh no sorry it's alt end bracket my bad alt end bracket but I'm just going to zoom in here this is not actually quite um, ended where I want it to be there we go yeah sorry my bad it's alt end bracket and it will uh, split and delete the uh, the footage on from the point where uh, you've got the timeline bar if that makes sense because obviously you don't want the text to re if you don't split it it'll reappear here and it would just look silly um, so yeah that's pretty much it as easy as that so the main points you want to take note of is the when we track the features then we solve the camera you want to try get it under one pixel of errors um, I can't explain why but ba uh, basically that's one thing you need to have under one pixel or just above will be okay uh, ways you can get the um, pixels down is have a high resolution cinematic or clip uh, make sure you've got the render on full and on the preview on full render the uh, cinematic a couple times and try again <coughs> sorry and if you can't get it say if it you you render it uh, you solve it and it says six pixels that's no good try sort it out by rendering it a couple times again if that doesn't fix it then you're gonna have to use another cinematic as if you try to motion track it it will just go the text will be moving all over the place and it'll, and it'll look rubbish so and nobody wants motion track stuff to be moving all over the place and that's pretty much it so if this video has helped you new anyway please give it a thumbs up uh, please follow me on Twitter and any tutorial suggestions please comment down below and uh, sorry it's been a bit juddery this tutorial I haven't been able to get the words out today but that's how some days go I suppose so thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next